I have never been to the Santa Claus Parade. I can't believe it. And it's still way too early to check the forecast for that. Uh, it is 24 days away, but of course we'll be watching it for you. Now, 8 degrees. We're mild now. We've dug out of that cold. We've got these winds, though, that are making all of these temperatures feel cooler. So a gust near 40 kilometers per hour. 8 doesn't feel like 8 out there. It feels closer to 4. Uh, and that same southwest wind has been driving that in right there. So as the wind comes over the lake, it picks up moisture and then it dumps it on land. So areas right along the lake shore there east of Oshawa getting into some spotty showers. All right, how about the car wash forecast? I'm going to say you can go ahead and do it tomorrow. The problem is all of these no's on the bottom. That means, no, it's you're not going to get a 24-hour period of dry weather. Both Saturday and Sunday, by the way, we have morning showers those days. So I, like that chance of precipitation is in place, although it's pretty isolated here through the weekend, but it ramps up for Monday and Tuesday. So we have widespread rain coming our way starting Monday. And it's not just rain, but it's also wind. So looking at this, how do you know it's going to be windy? You look at these white lines here. If they are closely packed together, it's windy. If they're further apart, like back here, it's not as windy. Uh, the blue is snow as well. So we're talking wind and snow, a potential snowstorm here early Monday as you go up in towards Sudbury, North Bay, and Central Ontario. We're on the rain side of things, but we're still on the windy side of things as well. So it's rain and wind for Southern Ontario. We'll be keeping a close eye on that pink line because that is going to be a risk of freezing rain, which may pass through Ottawa and sort of switch things from snow to freezing rain to rain. So that's what we'll be tracking on Monday before things calm down on uh, Tuesday. And the winds, like I said, on Monday will be gusting upwards of 70 to 80 kilometers per hour. 90 warrants a wind warning. So we'll be coming close to that on Monday. Tomorrow as well is going to be a windy one, uh, up to 60, 65 kilometers per hour. Uh, there's that rain and wind on Monday. And then these double digits are here to stay, but not past Tuesday. Starting Tuesday, temperatures start taking a dive once again and morning flurries possible next week.